Welcome back to V2 Gaming. My name is Volgraza, and today we are going to be doing some reassembly. That's right. I have had a lot of requests to show how to make a lot of R with just the basic faction so you can unlock the um, overpowered R faction that is uh, the plant people. Okay, so we're going to click start. I've had a little bit of a mess around, so it looks like I'm going to have to delete some things. So we're going to delete this one. Yes, we'll delete that one. That's fine. <clears throat> Alright, so there's the starting faction. We'll get to that eventually, but we're going to start off with just this one here, which is the very first one well, you have. So, yay. So, what do you think, guys? What color do we want? Um, oh, yes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, how about... Yeah, there we go. Um, some kind of tan with. Oh, that looks good. <clears throat> How to make R <clears throat> basics? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, launch. Another thing about, I love about this game is it just tosses you in the world and it's like, good luck! Alright, so we're going to need to basically enter the world, left mouse, right mouse, good. Uh huh, click, click, click. Kind of go over the, the tutorials a bit. Alright, good. So, what we want to do is farm. <clears throat> so we have enough um, upgrades right now, so we need to upgrade and get a harvester. So as soon as we get that harvester, good. And we have all the hull we're going to need. <clears throat> uh, we need 150 for more piece. so I'm not worry about that right now. Let's press 3, and we're going to modify our ship, okay? La la la, tutorial, tutorial, etc. So what we're going to do... Let's take this back section off here, move it out there, and uh, properly put the thrusters where they need to go. Slap on a gigantic... Uh, I'm just kidding now. We're going to need to modify this just a tad. So there, there, twist, 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 boom, boom, and... Okay, so now we're a little bit longer. <clears throat> And that's okay, because the thrusters still seem to be in the right position. But we need to have a better way to kind of direct the seeds that are going to be coming out. So we need to find a way to uh, basically be a plant harvester if you want to make a lot of R. Uh, there is some drawbacks, and we're going to go over those. Okay, so the let's just build my design, okay? How about that? We'll start with the design. Okay, so we do... Actually, I think we go like this, then that, then lengthen it out. Come on. To make things longer, you press the um, greater than, less than signs, or comma, or uh, period. <clears throat> and you can make things bigger or smaller. It's pretty handy. Yeah, I just love this game. It's so much fun, and that is really, really wide. It's a lot wider than... Let's try... these here. Nope. I'm trying to remember how exactly... You know what? Uh, yeah, that should be okay. I forget how to do my old design. It's fine. This will work. Don't want anything too complicated. <clears throat> and we're not changing the the design here. This is still fairly decent in combat. We're just adding a, a harvester to get better range for collecting things. And you're gonna want to get a um a factory very soon. Okay, so that's our first our next item goal. So harvester first with your basic uh, seed that you have, then factory. Okay, and maybe some more containers over here. That'd be kind of good, wouldn't it? That way we can hold a little bit more R than just what we have. Some more on the back. Fortunately, these 
don't cost any uh, P, so that's fine. Can I put it there? No, I cannot. So now that we got those there, let's kind of pretty it up just a little bit more. No, I'm not feeling that. Yeah, let's do that. Copy. Paste. Mirror. <clears throat> mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the most handiest builder of them all? Me? Huh? I'm so flattered. No, I'm... I, I kid you guys. No. I'm not the most amazing builder in the world, but I, I feel like I'm fairly skilled. Alright, so now that we have this, we're just going to rename this... <clears throat> Harvester. Okay. Alright, so we'll escape, press save to confirm our changes. Now we have a fairly decent amount of things. Okay, there we go. Just shed those old pieces, we don't need them. Alright. Now, the only other thing, okay, you can press Y to disable the auto zoom if you don't like that feature. The only thing I don't like um, about this technique is that your faction is going to start mass producing this ship, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It just can be very annoying because there'll just be tons of them. Like for it, for instance, when I did my plant tutorial, and I'll leave a link in the description below for that. Um, okay, gee, thanks. Uh, trade with a spawner, fantastic. Escape, boop. Okay, um, you know it. It just started producing a whole bunch of things. So you want to make something that is useful. So we're going to get a little bit of R here and then trade it. Okay, so now this is a seed down here. So we're going to try and direct that to where we want it to go. Uh, or not. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. That works too. Your basic goal is to try and um, get more R. Okay, so you know what? Let's find. Okay, so we traded. A little bit there. We want to find something that's going to. Um... Oh, here we go. There's a nice balloon over here. It's going to start producing a lot. Now, I had made an ad a design that was just like a big umbrella. I sat it over the top of this, over the top of the plants, and then tried to just direct where the seeds go. Well, that start the again. Your faction is going to start producing the crud out of that ship, and then you have these ships with huge arms that are like doing you no good. All right, let's see if we can just get it right here. Maybe you want to consider where I put my thrusters a little bit more. So it's not very stable. Oh, good boy. Okay, come on. We're gonna grab you. Yeah, this is kind of hard to control. Yeah, once the little uh, seeds run out of, like, thruster power, then they turn into R. Okay, so we got a little bit of R here. Let's, uh, find a station. Now, a new interesting uh, thing that happens is these ships here, they can you can trade with them, so there you go, and they will actually spawn stations, believe it or not. <clears throat> and you can build stations now, too, so I'm gonna, well, maybe cover that in a different video. Alright, this is taking a while, but I appreciate your guys' patience. I'm gonna go try to find... Oh, hey! That's the faction I was looking for, actually. Now, we're gonna find the green faction, okay? The plant faction. We need to find them because they have... It's, we're basically using that same technique as I did with the other, the other thing. The other ship, except we're using the plant faction to produce uh, those popcorn plants for us. Okay, so 
so we gotta find... Okay, we're gonna go this way. I think the factions are colored. Ugh. Nope, these guys are similar. Oh no! In the way! I am outnumbered! Time to go! So that one song, no one to hold him, no one to fold him. You, help me! Shoot them, shoot them! Yes, good job! Exploded them very good. Okay, we got a few of these guys on our team here. Alright. Oh, it's always nice having an escort. Doesn't hurt. Okay, so I've sped up the footage here, and we're going to be in search of that plant faction. Just kind of checking uh, the equipment of my other peoples, which you can do. I believe you hold Command, you press Tab, go into Command Mode, and then you press 3 over the top when you want to edit. So there's some plant faction right there, but there's some red faction nearby. You can also get more credits and R by capturing stations. I got stuck on the, on the station right there. Alright, so I, I sped it up because, you know, I'm trying to find some stuff and it just took forever to find what I need. Okay, so we're killing those red thingies there. I'm just looking around. Looking, looking. I'm... All my, my peeps died, so I gotta go find some more of them. Just kind of harvesting what I can. And some more green ships, and I'm like, I must save them! Yes, but then the greens are like, no, we will kill you. Die. I'm like, no, I don't want to. I have to I have to not let them die. And then I die. <laughs> so I'm like, dang it, we're some green. I really need Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's the um another faction, which is great, but then you know their big faction ships come by and blow me up again. I'm like, oh my god, please. I just what to find the green faction time to deal with all of this fortunately my station that I'm nearby here is pretty OP okay so I just buy a few things to try and help myself out I believe I'm refitting my ship here with some drones and I think some generators as well yep put two generators on put it back drone boom there and there <laughs> Ditch a generator for a block. That sounds good. It should be should be okay. Everything looks good there. All right, and save and go on. So re reassemble and uh, grab a guy. And go and look for um, more faction stuff. So I think I die here again. I'm not sure. I don't think I do. I get close. Nope. Yeah, we're good. I'm just kind of fighting them off. I'm trying to get to this green that's over there on the left-hand side of the screen. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But it is... I'm just trying to basically make my way there. Now, what's spawning here is another one of those factory ships, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see... Oh, another green ship. But he does not have one of those seed shooters, so really just not interested. In him, you want the the green ship that has the seed shooter to pull off this technique. So I'm like, I must have vengeance on this base. Destroy everything, and then my guy just kind of like suicides into the side. Like, yeah, I will have vengeance. Kill, destroy. <laughs> and more of their things show up, and I'm like, what? There's just too many. I think maybe. Maybe I should go. <laughs> yep, time to go. Time to go. All right, get back to safety. Station cleans up the mess. Get a lot of R. It's pretty great. And um, right over here is this uh, small farm. If you see these uh, green chips, they grow. Their their hulls will grow seeds, so you can use them to like push near the thing. Uh, the thing. I'm sorry. The asteroid, right? All right. So the asteroids will shoot seeds out to the plant ship, which grows seeds and shoots them back toward the asteroid. So you have a self-sustaining loop, which is pretty cool. Uh, which is why the uh, OP ship was pretty OP because you just have a continual loop, and as long as you keep everything moving and refreshed, then you're pretty good. 
See, there's get, we're getting a lot, quite a bit of R, but it's not really a whole lot. I mean, it's a good amount. So I, I hire some more dudes. And we go around, and that guy right there, I don't know if you saw that or not, I hired him twice, and he still didn't join my party, and I lost, like, a lot. So here we're just taking out more red guys, trying to figure out where the heck the green faction is. Desperately want to show you guys this technique. It's pretty awesome. And uh, it, it, if you're far enough away from a station, it's great. But if you're like right by one, then you start trading all that R and there's just what, what I like to call a balloon. All right, so again, you can also build a factory ship and spawn units then un basically they spawn in your group and then you can release them from your group for for credits uh so we go over here to this station i believe i think we um rescue this station I'm just trying to get rid of things i'm trying to save the seed ship okay so and i'm like no stop killing him we need him and i'm like please fire your oh god it blew up oh well so um Yep, yeah, more seed thingies, so I think actually we ignore that station up there. Yep, I take the video. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one we save right here. So we pull up pretty close. Yep, get some nice credits, get some other things. And we're getting close to that, uh, what I want to show you. I think we get close to dying here. Well, yeah, we do. Um, but you can get a factory ship, Put a, you know, buy a factory module, but after you get the harvester, that should be your next thing. Oh, yep, yeah, died. <laughs> But then they're like, ha ha, we kill you, and then, like, get in my faction, you have a shield, we can go balls to the wall, dot, kill everything, ha <laughs> ha. Oh my, I gotta kill all these things so I can get to what I'm looking for. I just want to show the popcorn technique, leave me alone. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's it. Perfect. Ah, uh, okay. All right, here we go, guys. So now that we have, we're, we're pretty much ready. We're ready to begin redirecting these back to the asteroid. Good. And no, no, don't blow it up. So you want to get them to spread over as much of the surface of the asteroid as possible. There we go, perfect. So then they just start producing. Alright. Good, perfect. Alright. So then they only go out for a certain distance, and then they basically stop. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I keep running into things. <laughs> All right, good. So now we just pretty much just kind of chill out here. I'm going to release this guy from my service so I can get uh, points and stuff from him. Or not. There is a station nearby, so I guess I could go over there. <clears throat> yes, which I'm going to need to do, apparently. Okay, so... I'll be back. It's okay, I didn't need that front end anyway. Okay, now that I've dropped off, I can go on to the next thing. Whoop! Wrong way. Yeah, I need a way to collect more resources than just what I'm doing now, so what I'm gonna do is modify this freighter here, okay? So we're gonna max it 
maximize that there. Copy paste. Boom. Copy paste. Boom. Okay. It's pretty simple. Now we have a very large R base. Mini freighter like a dose. Save. Okay. Simply just switch over. And now we can just every once in a while bump these things back to the surface. And um, it should be able to hold quite a lot. I need a harvester on this thing, that's what I'm doing. I'm totally... Let's just move this this way. That way. I think the harvester is there. Yeah, that's where it is. So let's just put it so, like so. Boom. Completely sample. Push. Back end. Ink. Right. All right, good. Now we can harvest from a very long ways away. guys so now that you have uh, seen that technique what do you guys think pretty cool just wait for a guy to randomly fire on an asteroid and just start collecting R like crazy it's just as good as my other design except it doesn't use the well it sort of uses the same faction so it's pretty quick it's pretty nice I should probably go collect those I just want to sit here and just collect these you see how much I'm getting per per pull it's Quite amazing. Yep. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. And if you want to see more reassembly, why don't you suggest uh, a video you would like to see next? Uh, maybe you want to see a Let's Play of this. Who knows? Um, let me know in the comments below. And as always, be good and be creative. See you next time. There we go. Just gonna spin, get all the resources all over the place. No, stop it. Go back and select all the different It's already prepared. Okay, so then we just control B. And the OMG, it's really big, so transform. Or in this particular program, control shift E. We'll just stick this.